Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Well, we got cloudy skies out there as we look at the Graber Post Building's weather cam. We'll break those clouds down as we go late and overnight. Well, here's what we're tracking. Snow is gone for now. Warm up. Well, the warm up is in the 40s, still below normal. Some more snow possible next week, and it is going to stay cold. Even some colder weather coming late in the forecast period. Still cloudy. Out at the airport, 33 degrees. Feels like 26 with that west northwest breeze at 8. Humidity is up here at 78 percent. Pressure rising, 30.14. So we'll break the clouds down here in a bit. 700 smelted precipitation here, and just about that much in snowfall. Hard to measure because it was just on grassy areas, and you can still see a lot of the green grass, so not a lot of snow here at the studios. Where I live in Vigo County, I measured three inches. Jesse Walker over in Clay County measured 3.3 inches. So we had some real amounts out there. And you saw Deming Park earlier, they were doing some sledding out there. So we got our first snow of the fall season. Cold this morning. We may not be done with the low temps yet. We recorded to midnight. So far, we've got 27 in Mattoon, 28 at the airport. A lot of 28 degree readings out there. That was the popular low temp. That's what we had here at the studios. Above the freezing mark here and there, 34 at uh, Vincennes, Bloomington at 32, 33 at Mattoon. Now, as far as temps right now, just starting to cool down to 31 here and there. And the temperature trend, tomorrow we warm up. We'll push into the 40s. It'll stay there for a few days before the next cool down. Winds still up a bit, 18 at Mattoon, Paris 13, 13 at Robinson, out of the northwest. Uh, these will gust to 20 and then become lighter out of the west overnight. Models miss the cloud cover. We're pretty much under the clouds right now. Don't see any more snow. And maybe you get a flurry here or there. That'll be about it. Big picture, next system brewing up out west. First system right through there. It's spinning away, low pressure. You can see some wraparound moisture on that. So we'll probably see a few flurries here and there tonight. Locally, though, the organized snowfall is pretty well done. And you can see live on the dorsal automotive Doppler radar, Everything's northeast now of Indianapolis, up around Muncie. they got a mix going on up there, some freezing rain blending in. Future cast, just a question of cloud cover over the next 48 hours. Don't think we'll see any snow until maybe Tuesday. And that could be a rain-snow mix. So pretty much a repeat of what we had today. More likely some rain mixing in with it because the temps are going to be a lot warmer. They'll be in the 40s. Now, over the next seven days, we'll make a few stops. Here comes that Tuesday system. You can see it kind of progresses right through midday into the evening. And then, once it kicks out of here, we'll see some moisture wrap back around it. So we could see some snow, maybe some flurries right into Thursday. But not looking likely that's going to be a big system with that rain mixing in and temperatures in the uh, 40s. There's the cold air. It's not going anywhere. Look at those temps. It just settles in and stays there. In fact, we're going to fall into the 30s for highs long term, some teens for lows. So it's a very cold forecast right through the latter part of November now. Now, here's what we have for tonight. Other than an errant flurry here or there, 24 clouds early, clearing late, and then tomorrow, much better. Sunny skies will warm up a bit. Get into the 40s around the valley, 42 the low here, or the high here at the studios, and then looking ahead. Tuesday, a rain snow mix, and then the temps look late week. Wednesday through the weekend, 30s with some teens. Omar, winter time, and it's not even officially winter.